Welcome to Aaron's review and today we have the second part of four for the Estelle and Kern SP1000 player. Tips and tricks number two. Here we have the Statue of Liberty. There was a joint effort between France and the United States to commemorate the lasting friendship between the people of the two nations. The French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bafaudi created the statue itself out of sheets of hammered copper while Alexandre Gustave Eiffel, the man behind the famed Eiffel Tower, designed the statue's steel framework. When the Statue of Liberty was made, the amount of copper in the Statue of Liberty would make about 30 million pennies. The statue was originally assembled, it was a dull brown colour, reflecting the natural colour of its comfortable place. This is because it took over 30 years in order for it to slowly turn to the green colour that you see today. This is because due to oxidation, this takes place when air and water react with the copper plates, giving you this green colour. So coming in to tip number two now. So what is tip number two? Well, in this tip, we look at how to keep your players like spanking new. So as you can see from this picture, we have my AK380. This is the Meteor Titan version, which is the normal version. You can see that I've tried to protect it by putting on some plastic screen protector on it, which works. Here we have my AK380, which is the copper version. You can see with on the machine look, oxidation has taken place and it is now turning a little bit dark brown and then eventually with time it will change to green. Sadly, I did try to clean it using vinegar. This is what the outcome looks like after having put vinegar as to clean it. So what of advice, don't use vinegar to clean your AK380 because it damages the outlook and externally. The vinegar did cause a reaction with the copper and it kept it quite nice for a little while and then after a few hours it then changed into this color so it doesn't work. So coming into my second AK380 copper fish that I purchased you can see with this player, my second one, it looks much nicer, almost like brand new. This is because, yes, here's my tip number two. I've actually had it plastic cover coated at a shop. Cost of doing the plastic coating was about $300 from Wonkok. And there was this nice couple who takes about maybe two hours to do this plastic coating for you. And to be ideally, you could do this by yourself. It's just using screen protective plastic coating, the soft one, and they take time to put it onto your player, make, keeping it in a nice condition. I mean, as you can see from these pictures that I have, it almost looks like brand new. Even the person who I sold it to thought, how is it possible that the player could be this new condition even after one or two years of use? So yes, having it plastic coated does keep your player looking new. This even works with the stainless steel version or the Onyx black versions. So you decide if it's worth it to have it plastic coated. As you can see from this player, this player looks quite new. Having seen my previous one that I owned, you can see that actually putting a uh, cover coating on the player keeps it from oxidization. This is actually the copper version. If you look at the AK380 that I previously had and used vinegar on, you can see that this still looks like brand new. So what I've done is just put plastic on it, screen protector, yeah? So in if you're in Hong Kong, yes, you can take it to a specialist. If you want to know who they are, send me a link, uh, send me a message down below and I'll give you the number so that you can call them. Just to let you know, putting on this cover does protect the machine and it doesn't matter if you have the copper version the stainless steel version, the Onyx black version of the SP1000. They also do the SE100 as well. I've seen people doing that. You decide if this is worth it. Price-wise, how much would it cost to get this covered? Well, about $300, Hong Kong dollars. How long does it take them? Well, with the couple of who does it for me, it actually takes them maybe possibly two hours or three hours. They actually take their time and carefully put plastic on it, cutting it 
on each location so that every location is actually fully protected which is the reason why this player still looks like brand new even the AK380 that I showed you earlier that was like one over one year ago I've had it for over one year and when I saw that the guy was quite surprised that oh it looks brand new obviously if you're not in Hong Kong I suggest you can try to do this yourself but obviously be careful while cutting it uh, it looks fantastic with the stainless steel version copy version you see what it looks like right now the black onyx one of the SP1000 and I'm sure they can do the SP1000M the SC100 as well anyway this ends part 2 of tips and tricks for me uh, stay tuned for the next one and I promise you that the next video is going to be a good one and once again do click subscribe I'll see you again soon